Hey friends, if you're joining me, I'm actually looking outside the window here. It's a little bit too loud to be out on the balcony at this beautiful resort here in Orlando. Brown, make sure you guys can hear me. So uh, if you are brand new to Ask Dr. Heather, my name is Heather Dewar Carden, also known as Ask Dr. Heather. Sorry, we're trying to get this hung up in the room because there's so much amazing light coming in. That's know, a lot of light, crazy. But that's kind of how life is, right? A little lazy, a little crazy, a little crooked. That's how it can go. So my name is Dr. Heather Carden. Welcome to Ask Dr. Heather. I'm super excited to pop on here today. I know I've been a little bit absent, but I've actually been practicing my own medicine. As many of you know, I had surgery about eight weeks ago. I had amputation above my knee on my right leg. I know people are like, what? I'm like, yes, it's actually given me an amazing and better quality of life. So today is my first trip after having my major surgery, April 2nd. And people are like, why are you trying? traveling why are you going to a seminar what are you doing why are you why, why, why would you do that why would you stay home and rest and rejuvenate well I've spent the last eight weeks actually last 14 weeks because I actually did six weeks of prehab before my surgery the last eight weeks I have had intensive PT and OT and stretching and on my off days of PT and OT getting ready to do all the things you're telling me to do so I can actually get my prosthetic and get up and walk so I needed a brain break as you guys know my mission in this world my mission driven passion is to help people find their journey towards better health oftentimes that can be getting better sleep it can be cutting out the carbs it can be actually getting rid of maybe toxic things in your house so it generally depends on what you guys are asking me about I talk about but I'm here today to actually bring more credible current information to you there's an event called keto Academy that's only offered twice a year this year it's here in Orlando there's over I don't know maybe 3,000 people here learning about ketones you've heard me talk about ketones before I have been the keto doc or at the keto doc on Facebook for more than nine years so before anybody was talking about keto and on Instagram ask dr. Heather or I'm sharing my journey about my amp amputation as a keto mom and as a keto doc so it's ampu mom keto doc on Instagram that's all about that journey today we're gonna talk about you talk about I am an 80s lady which means I am over 50 and we know that we used to think that we started to lose lean muscle mass at the age of 50 or 60 we actually learned from the leading thought leaders that now we're actually pre-aging we can really start the process of actually adapting into Alzheimer's at the age of 20 if there's a family history 30 if not we also start losing lean muscle mass so we talk all the times ketones are energy glucose is energy ketones are a superior energy source but let's talk about what ketones break down into they actually break down into ATP which is gasoline for our body what part of our body mitochondria mitochondria is the powerhouse or the fuel house of our cells so I want to keep it very very simple science we used to draw those in fifth or sixth grade to be the big circle with all the wiggly things in it right we call it the mitochondria ATP and oxygen actually feed the mitochondria. The mitochondria dictates the quality and the systemic function of our body. It is the energy producing house. It actually also programs our cells, programs them for death, or programs them for a slower death or anti-aging. It also enhances the energy production of our body, so it just makes it more efficient. More efficient energy source, more efficient mitochondria. The better the mitochondria are gonna function, the better our immune system is gonna function. We're also learning today how much the, the Muscle preservation is actually dictated by the mitochondria. Give it better energy, mitochondria functions better, has better muscle health. We also learned how important muscle health and muscle degradation, which means losing muscle mass, atropine, which is super important for an amputee as we actually go through this process of learning from sitting in a chair for me to walking to standing to increasing lean muscle mass. So I had to throw a bit of that in there, but that's true for a lot of people having knee replacements, hip replacements, bunion surgery. There's tons of people running around here on knee scooters who had to have a toe surgery or Maybe they had some neuropathy from diabetes. We know that muscle health and muscle health overall actually indicates our insulin sensitivity or insulin insensitivity or metabolic sensitivity to insulin. That can be said many different ways, but it's super important. We know as we get as we get older, we know we actually lose function. It's normal part of aging. It's hard for people to get off the toilet, right? As they get older, out of a chair, off the airplane. We don't want that to happen. We want to stay stronger and leaner as we age. So we don't want to have that loss of increased muscle mass. So we've talked about ketones giving more ATP and oxygen. One of the other things we talk, I want to talk about today is electrolytes. People have been asking me for years about electrolytes because I've done triathlons, I've done marathons. How do you rehydrate? Well, back in the 80s, it was carb loading. Now we know it's about electrolytes, pink Himalayan sea salt, volcanic salt, different types of electrolytes. But what does it really mean? 
electrolytes when added with water are electricity for our body. They're signals for our body. They are essential for our body. There's things that are non-essential for our body. There are things that are essential. Electrolytes are essential. Sodium, potassium, uh, magnesium, chloride ions, those things are potential for our body. And we talk about this mitoplex, which I'm going to talk quite a bit because you've heard me talk about my journey when I prehab before surgery. I talked with Dr. Ryan Lowry and this had just come out. He goes, you need to take three a day. I'm like, why three a day? He goes, because it increases energy. It also increases performance. So as I'm working in prehab, which is like as this it's physical therapy getting you ready for surgery and now in physical therapy I want to increase my performance I want to increase my muscle sustainability so as my legs get rewired as I use my shoulders and my crutches as I use my one uh, full leg to get me around town from place to place on my crutches I want as most amount of muscle as possible we also know that in this mitoplex which is a high performance upgraded electrolyte it also has creatinine monohydrate which is great for neural protection I stumbled on it works I just saw my husband join us he makes me super nervous so the creatinine monohydrate we used to think is all about the muscle builders it's actually more about our brain muscle sensitivity it's also about cognitive performance and then also has d3 in here we talk about d3 we know that that's important for aging we also know it's important for our immune system it's also important for bone growth that's d3 bone growth cardiovascular health support immune system health support so this electrolyte is something that I did every single morning I know my husband's on here now so in the hospital I would wake up and have 16 ounces of water then I would have I would have a, a mito plex which is the electrolytes with a glass of warm water and I would put a whole lemon in there but since I'm traveling I just brought some lemon juice so homemade lemon juice and I put extra sea salt in there my sodium pretends to be a little bit low but that can also be a sign of fatigue can also be a sign of low electrolytes and balance of sleep can be a sign of low electrolytes cardiovascular health all that stuff is so important remember electrolytes when dissolved in water so when put with water work like electricity to help our body run much better the great news today about electrolytes so I didn't finish my story because again I saw my husband on there I wish he'd wave goodbye I should wave wave hello right because he's in Kansas taking care of the family when added to water it adds electricity to our body it helps my brain function I immediately feel energy go up in my body I can take it any time of day or night last night it was about nine o'clock I generally take it before physical therapy or sometimes right after physical therapy I will take it um, post physical therapy post workout days any time of the day that you're feeling tired and you know that you've eaten and you know that you're hydrated you know those aren't the causes of causes of your energy source that's a great time to take the mitoplex so I really want to talk about electrolytes because there's a lot of confusion about electrolytes people are on a ketogenic diet you use electrolytes on a low carb diet as your body pulls water and toxins out of fat cells you lose electrolytes like sodium potassium and chloride those things that actually are buffering agents that's why people get fatigued sometimes on a low carb diet like I should have amazing energy why am I tired with that buffering system was lost due to that loss of diuretic through the toilet or through the fat cells being lost also we know the first sign of diabetes so don't someone just on a low carb journey maybe someone who's pre-diabetic who's actually getting their increased thirst increased urination their urinating a lot more it's one of the first signs we see of diabetes or type 2 diabetes specifically they're also losing electrolytes so it can be also on both spectrums of the cells electrolytes are that important think about this what's saying the, then I've got a nurse here with me what's the first thing they do when you go to the emergency room Give you electrolytes. They give you electrolytes. They hang, hang, they get an IV in and they hang a bag of electrolytes. That's the first thing the ambulance does as well when they come upon a scene. Sodium is that important for your body. So most of us are not getting enough because we were told that salt was bad. You know, like we were told fat was bad, fasting was bad, salt was bad. We know that salt is actually so important and not table salt, but sodium. Sodium, so important for your body. We also know if you look at your blood panel, the comprehensive metabolic panel, sodium is number one. It's not in alphabetical order. It's that important. And normal optimal ranges for sodium is 140 to 144 is optimal range for sodium. So I want to throw that out there. So for me, I'm probably going to have two of these today. I'm not working out today. I'm up and about moving around quite a bit. So I like to have it with a little bit of lemon juice and a pinch of sea salt. The great news is today, if you want to have this and you did not know anything about it, because I've got several friends on here that I know have tried or sampled this, but weren't for sure why they were taking it. So I'm going to take a minute just to add that in. So whether you're on any type of diet, whether you're on a 
pre-diabetic diet. I know no one wants to be on a pre-diabetic, but that's called the standard American diet. So if you're just consuming food, you probably need electrolytes. If you've been on a low sodium diet, you probably need electrolytes. If you're switching to a low carb diet or paleo diet, or you're actually just starting to work out or training for a marathon, you probably need electrolytes. If you're not sleeping very good, you have low fatigue, you probably need electrolytes. The great news is, 25% off today until midnight Central Standard Time. I'm Eastern Central Standard Time. I am Eastern, whatever. I'm in Florida, which is the Eastern Time Zone, Central Standard Time, 11.59. I'm trying, everything's been going crazy busy. 25% off when you buy two boxes. I can tell you this is a game changer for my health. Oftentimes I would have patients before this, I would have them just take sea salt and lick their hands. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean to lick your hands? We've talked all the time here on Ask Dr. Heather about iodine and how the thyroid needs iodine to convert T3 to T4 and robs that from our ovaries. We talked about all those different minerals. We also talk about the importance of vitamin D and those optimal levels of vitamin D. Vitamin D is actually one of the biggest predictor of heart disease and cancer. The great thing about an upgraded electrolyte, you won't find this in many electrolytes, is it does have some D3 in there, which is the absorbable form our body needs, again, for our immune system, for our cardiovascular system, for bone health. I'm not making any false medical claims. I'm not here to diagnose or treat. I'm simply here to share things that I've been doing along my journey. I've had the amazing opportunity to run into several hundred people who've said, you've really inspired me on your journey that you've been sharing about having the amputation after being diagnosed with RSD and how much better your face looks and how much better your attitude looks and you know your face looks different and I don't know why because we know that some of the things when you're on a ketogenic diet or low carb diet or you cut out processed foods it does slow down the aging process and you will see that in your face I know I have beautiful Florida Sun there and hi mom my mom just signed up on there Cindy is telling me that they're already sold out Cindy I'm gonna check that out so Cindy friend is saying sold out on the mitoplex um, also wanted to let you know somebody just uh, some, <laughs> Angie's gonna check there for me so um, I hope not because it was to like 25% off it was a big savings on it two boxes of mitoplex some people can do a half a serving a day some people could do a whole, whole serving a day again just depending on what your body's needs are or how you feel but when I just talk a little bit more about mitochondria health I know I talk about energy and no carbs no sugar but did you know the whole time we're talking about carbohydrates and glucose and ketones we're really talking about what's feeding the mitochondria the powerhouse of the body what drives the body what drives health what drives cell death what drives insulin sensitivity what drives free radical formation I'm a little stalling because she's looking up on it's her phone sold out. it is sold out so stay tuned I will actually post here when it's not sold out again so you can still use this information this is meant to be shared this is meant for educational purposes um, I just want to say hello hello from amazing Orlando here and we're learning lots of amazing information about brain health on my personal page Heather Dewar Carden I just talked about some of the bullet points that we hit from um, some of the leading thought leaders last night about Alzheimer's is probably going to be what breaks the Medicare bank also the importance of Alzheimer's time starting at the age of 20 um, so it's never too late to get a hold of your health it's never too late to cut out the sugar and so where do you start start cutting out the processed sugar start adding some more healthy fats in there make sure you get your water in water is super super important and I was gonna say add your electrolytes in because added with water this is electricity that helps keep your body going so this is dr. Heather from the world Orlando Marriott in Orlando Florida saying have an amazing day I will be talking with you soon